tall, like I'm on my tiptoes, baby. You think a little too small? I got big goals, baby. Ain't hey, where the money at? Look, I just need the info, pronto. I go and get it, and split it with my kinfolk daily. Hey guys, I'm Tyler Dodd. Welcome to Emerald Wholesale. We've got the uh, the trim crew in here, which these guys trim the finished flower. We kind of have the theory around here to hire from the communities impacted by the war on drugs. It's a hell of a party, man. Always a party in here. Look, they ain't getting it this time. How much is the baby gonna owe us for this, right? I'm gonna, I'll send them the bill, right? We are in one of our production flower rooms at our Emerald Wholesale facility. I would venture to say that the war on drugs against cannabis has caused multiples more in damage than cannabis has caused itself. And that, that like, that's the main thing. Before federal legalization, like, these communities that have been impacted by the war on drugs need to, need to participate in the upside. They need the benefit of the cannabis industry. You got all these dudes in suits coming in here that, that are the same people that voted against it, marginalized the communities, uh, looked down on, you know, and, and stigmatized cannabis for so long. And it's like these same people are, are making all the money. And like, you get, they forced us to do it in secret for years and now they try and do it and they can't do it. And so the most valuable asset in the entire industry is the operators that know how to do it because there's no tech schools. And agriculture doesn't translate. And that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to educate the other operators and growers to know how valuable they are. If you pull up a map from 2016, every single district in Oklahoma yeah. voted for Donald Trump, every yeah. single one. Yet. That's the right. Republican values do not vouch for legalization of marijuana at all. That's so right. why do you think that kind of irony lives so rampant in Oklahoma? Oklahoma's been really hit hard with opioids and other um, medical, uh, like Xanax and different drug yeah. problems. And I think people recognize that, you know, that that was bad. We need an alternative. Yeah. And uh, marijuana came up as, a, as an alternative. And so I'm still surprised because I don't think a lot of people quite understand um, how medical marijuana works and why it is safer than opioids and other things. Um, but I think that's what kind of carried it through was the need of something else besides the opioids and drugs mm -hmm. like that. I think the consumption rate of any of the vices, tobacco, alcohol, is much higher in, in the red states. In the Midwest, you got a lot of blue collar workers, man. And like people live harder lives here. People's hands hurt more here. You got ranch, like, People suffer more physical ailments due to living a rougher lifestyle. Do you guys personally know anyone that's been put away for marijuana? I'm yeah. a victim. Really? Yeah, I uh, did two years uh, incarceration for marijuana. And uh, now you work at a plant? And now I work at a plant, so yeah, it's like mind blowing at the yeah. same time. Anything is possible. Three, four years later, it's legal now and I'm still doing it. They pay me to do it now, so I was like, at the end of the day, yeah. the world is coming, getting on my level. Tyson's Ranch made a graphic with one of our posters and um, just happen chance they put on the poster at the bottom. It's me and Mike standing back to back. On the bottom of it's the state seal of Oklahoma. And that's the same state seal that I looked at in state probation, state court, state prison, as I was getting felonies as a young man for, for minor cannabis possession. I'm still a convicted felon for cannabis possession. And so for them to put that state seal on this poster, that state seal used to signify such like failure for me, you know what I mean? Like, dude, you, you messed up, you fucked up, dude. You know, like, it, it didn't seem like such a great state for a long time to me as I was being held captive for a plant. There is people sitting away from their families for victimless cannabis crimes in this state. My tax dollars from this funding to keep them housed for being arrested for this. It's disgusting. I often ask myself, like, how did we get here? Because to me, if you think about remove the law, just talk about humans, man, it, it sounds a lot like kidnapping and being held for ransom for a plant that grows naturally here, indigenously anyway. And it smells very good. And it's, <laughs> it makes, makes me feel pretty nice. Too, so. well,